Ah, uh, Friday. Happy Friday. 44th, 45th, 45th day of the vlog. And it's another wonderful day in the wonderful house. Quite a lot to do today. I have quite a lot, including like way too much editing that I can handle. So let's see how that goes. I just have to see where the day takes me. So thank you for, for joining me on my on my journey today. Oh, the sun. So I can actually do something today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit because uh, I, need, I need to edit. I've got so much editing. All right, okay, time lapse. Right lads, so really cool come today that I ordered. One of the first things that come from my Amazon order. I was like, oh, what is this? Like, what? This is huge. And then I opened it. It's my slider. My slider finally came. And uh, it's huge. It's so big. This little puppy is going to do absolute wonders. Can't wait to try this out. Let me attach you. This, look, look. Woo it's so cool. Half past four, I've only ever, like, I've, I've literally, I've literally just finished my first video. I have a whole another two to do. Oh boy, today's looking like a fun one. Ugh, at least my slider came, and plus something else came that's uh, gonna be in next week's video, Monday. It's gonna be a very, very fun video. <sighs> what else have I? I've got an idea what I'm gonna talk about. I have a very good idea what I'm gonna talk about. But today I'm gonna be talking about directors, more specifically, what directors I like and what I believe the best directors to watch if you're into film or if you're just trying to get into film. Oh no, please say. I'd say my film taste is pretty balanced. I like to say I'm quite open to stuff I watch. I don't always watch good films. That's not what, you know, being a film student is about. How are you, you going to tell from good from bad if you only just watch films with good reviews? But no, I'll talk about directors today. Uh, what ones inspire me? I'm surprised I've never done this video before. Out of like 140 videos, I would have thought I've spoken about directors. I just, I, I don't know why I haven't. No, I watch quite a few films. I don't watch them all the time. I don't religiously watch them. I would say I have more of a practical approach, filmmaking and learning filmmaking. Also, I believe I need to watch way more in international films. I've still seen some international films, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't seen enough to talk about if that makes sense. So this is not a complete list of who I think is a good director and like these are the best directors. This is just a list of maybe director suggestions I have. Starting off number one, I think one of the most notable directors that there is ever. Steven Spielberg. What what a guy. Yeah, everyone's probably seen a lot of Steven Spielberg films. His attitude towards people and to life carries through his films. One of my favourites, if not the favourite film I have of all time is Jurassic Park. But I believe his films are spectacles that come from the imagination and inspire a whole generation of people to really just believe in themselves and believe in other people. I wouldn't really say Spielberg's an auteur. And if you don't know what auteur means, I completely understand. It's not something you'd probably hear outside of studying film or media. A very quick rundown of auteur. Auteur is a French word originating from the word author. And this word came around during the French New Wave and this was applied when a director applied a specific style to his films so it made it notable that that film exists exemplifies his auto signature. If you are interested in that, I could definitely suggest some channel. But I wouldn't say Spielberg has a specific style apart from his characters. His characters are usually hopeful, um, determined, they don't give up, they believe in other people, they go for a journey. And by the end of it, they've changed, and they've changed for the better. And we see them go through this whole story. We usually start at the beginning and end at the end. He shows us this full character story, but we find out about it during the film. So the story sets up the characters going forward in the future. But well, no, a few Steven Spielberg suggestions I have is obviously Jurassic Park, Jaws, E.T. God, uh, how can anyone forget about Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan? Other directors I really like are the works of Wes Anderson, Edgar Wright, and also, who can forget, Ben Wheatley. Wes Anderson has this whimsical style. It's amazing, as I said earlier, it's a whole different genre to film. You watch his film and you're just like, the production design, the costumes, the characters, the script, the, the oh my god. I would probably suggest all of his films. I haven't seen all of them, especially some of his earlier work I haven't seen. I remember seeing Fantastic Mr. Fox in theatres when I was younger, like much younger, and I didn't know who Wes Anderson was. And just that, that I think that's one of the only films I kind of remember from growing up. Like, I, I specifically remember watching in the in, in the cinema and just being like, this is really weird, but I really like it. And for his suggestions, I'd probably say Grand Budapest Hotel, Isle of Dogs is the most recent. Fantastic Mr. Fox is a master. Masterpiece. Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright is a brilliant British filmmaker. It's very interesting. Sorry, that was weird. Very interesting. I would say he applied depressingly British attributes. I, you see this with Ben Wheatley as well, where they kind of show kind of you know typical British things and they make fun of it. Like I believe every single British citizen should should be made to watch the Cornetto trilogy. That's Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. But all of them are very good. Shaun of the Dead basically changed the whole genre of horror. It's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It's on Netflix now. Watch it. Baby Driver is probably his most produced. Brilliant film, Baby Driver. 
It also has a film coming out called Last Night in Soho starring Matt Smith and that has been delayed till <laughs> next April. Crying inside, I really am. Talking about rich directors, Ben Wheatley is another great suggestion. If you want to feel weird, this is this is a good director for you. I really like Ben Wheatley. It's really quite refreshing seeing like, like low budget films like really get good storytelling. But he's worked in the past with Martin Scorsese uh, on his film Free Fire. But he's also working on the next Tomb Raider. What's a really weird career move I did not expect from him. I'd say my suggestions for Ben Wheatley if you're going to check him out. I'd say Sightseers. But I think my favourite Ben Wheatley film is his film Kill List. It's definitely, uh, I've, it's scary. Uh, Gnardo Toro is a fascinating director. Pan's Labyrinth is probably his masterpiece, but he's done work on Pacific Rim. Hellboy, Shape of Water is brilliant as well. There's, 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 you just feel free to go through some Gnardo Toro. Devil's Backbone is also very good. But most recently I've been watching the works of David Fincher. David Fincher is, I'd say, one of my favourite directors. Just his work is mind-blowing. I've been watching lots of video essays on it, trying to understand what he does, and oh boy, it's so subtle, but it works so well. So David Fincher, he, I'd say he's probably one of the most underrated directors is full stop like his <laughs> his work is bloody incredible i mean i noticeably is probably fight club but also the social network i think was snubbed at the oscars completely but seven uh seven is just will blow your mind uh, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button, I haven't seen it, but a masterpiece apparently. Films like Zodiac, and also has a new series on Netflix, well not a new series, it's been out for a while, but Mindhunter, that is also David Fincher, I'm slightly making my way through it. The network is on, uh, is on Netflix and it, you, sh you should watch it. Thank you for joining me today, I could do an episode 2 of Directors I Like, I might, I might do that. Judging out there's, there's loads of others I really want to talk about, but I can't because we've run out of time for today's episode. So without further ado, I'm going to say thank you for watching the video. So make sure you stick around by subscribing and also liking the video. Anyway, without further ado, I'd say thank you and goodbye.